man, I don't want to offend all the men, but you guys have to step up. We have amazing women, and it's like, get your act together. Stop playing video games. Stop living in your mother's basement. Get a job. Pursue a woman. And love the Lord. It's not hard. I just do not understand it. I warned you. I warned you. Give this woman a microphone. You're going to... Uh, she's right, though. Uh, no, listen. We, we have an epidemic in our culture, and it, it bleeds into the church. Here's, here's, here's the, the epidemic is... Uh, it's called delayed adolescence. And so you have... We literally have gone down manhood. Pardon? We've gummed down manhood. Yes, we have. Well, now, and now if you act like, like a man, not... it's toxic. Unless you're a beta fish and you just let culture dominate you. Uh, if, you, if, you act like, if you act like a man, if you act like anything other than a, uh, a feminist version of a male zygote, then you are, you know, you're somehow a threat to society. And it's, in, in reality, we need men that love God, men that want to build families, men that honor their children, on the, honor their commitments, men that aren't afraid to be strong but are servant leaders. And the problem is we have delayed adolescence where a lot of men in our culture have been told to, to pursue family is the last thing that you do. You do that in your 30s and 40s if you do that at all. Because... You can go and have as much sex as you want to. You can view porn, play your video games in your mom's basement, and you can live off of subsidies if you want to. And instead of calling people uh, to the forefront, well, women don't have that luxury. And this is just reality. Women know my biological clock is ticking. And if I want to build a family, I'm going to have to have my career, my education, uh, the guy I'm going to marry by the age of at least 30 so that I've got enough time on the biological clock to begin to have children and, and get it going. Well, guys don't have that biological clock. So guys are like, I got all the time in the world. So you got young ladies who are more motivated to get their lives together in general. And you got guys who are looking at it and going, I can just kind of live my best life for my 20s and 30s. Well, then you turn 30 or 35 and now your life's pretty much settled. You don't, you don't want that. You don't, why would I want to change my life? Why would I want responsibility? And this is part of the epidemic that we have part of the problem that we have in our culture. And, you know, a generation ago, 50 years, uh, 80 years ago, young men ended up, they went to war and came home and by 25, they'd been to war, they've gotten married, they're having kids and they're, they've got a job, they own a home and they're, they're moving forward. That's all been delayed about a decade. Well, the problem is that delay about a decade hasn't lined up with a woman's desire and need to build a family. And so, we need a revival in the church of manhood, of male leadership, and families. So one more, can I say one more thing? Then you go. Young ladies, stop having sex with men before you're married with them. In the words of the great theologian Beyonce, if you like it, put a ring on it. Okay, now, what were you going to say? Exactly. Men, you'll never feel or boys, or whatever you want to be called, um, the most fulfilled until you're leading. And a, a woman will never feel most fulfilled until she has a man leading her, which we can all be like, oh, but I'm a strong woman, but I love having a husband who's strong and that is willing to lead me, and I'm willing to follow him because I trust him to, to lead us well, to lead my family well. And... Um, Men need to rise up and do that. And like Lee said, women pray. Literally, that's the thing. What? Make men great again. <laughs> make men great again. We're going to make men great. They're going to be strong. It's going to be huge. But I do love every single man in this place and every woman. And we... I'll have it in us. We have Jesus in us, so. Yeah, you're so kind. Just do Leave it. it to Jane to make it kind at the end. So these are, I, these are gonna be beautiful men. So you had mentioned it, like men are most fulfilled when they're leaders. And Lee, you had said that, you know, some of that hesitation <laughs> is, well, I wanna live my best life now. I don't wanna get strapped down by responsibility. And I think that's the lie in our culture because 
you know, you actually don't live your best life until you've been refined through a fire and, and embracing marriage, parenting, all that, that's hard work. And why would I want to do that when I can do all these fun things? And so where have you seen that shift of the, the cultural lies of men don't rise up to pain, don't be, a, don't be a husband, don't be a father, and just stay where you are right now, that kind of superficial good yeah. life? Well, I will tell you this, that I, I'm not saying this to men because somehow I was a different species. I'm the same as any other man. And the thing that made me grow up and the, the thing that made me actually a good man was meeting and getting married young and building a family. I would not be who I am today if it was not for the woman sitting next to me. And I'm grateful for that. And for the responsibility that I took on. When you get married, it's like, I have somebody else to take care of. I have children to take care of. And it brings the best out of you. The best of men, uh, the best of men, which is a protector and a provider, uh, those, those two things primarily, and a leader doesn't get drawn out of you unless you have somebody to lead, to protect, and to provide for. And I, I just look back and go, uh, I would have been a totally different person if I'd not gotten married when I did. And so if, if you want to live your best life, the world lies to you and says your best life is being single, independent, free, uh, free from commitments and having all this fun. But that stuff doesn't matter when you don't have somebody to share it with. And that's just the lie of the culture, yeah. you know? 